Hello everybody, welcome to our channel. So today we're going to discuss about how to achieve IELTS band 8.5 or any high score, any desired bands in IELTS. So we're going to deal with four main parts. That is the listening, the reading, the speaking, and the writing. All right. So the listening, reading, speaking, writing. And I've divided this into two parts so that I can discuss something. So we know that the listening, reading, speaking, we have a lot of control over this part. How do we have control? We have control over the listening because it's us who listens and it's us who transfers what we have we, what we have listened onto the answer sheet. We have control over the reading as well because it's us who reads and we have to just transfer what we have read and understood onto the answer sheet. And we have control over the speaking because ideally we are the ones who speak and we speak to the examiner and we know how much we spoke and we know what you know how well we spoke on that day. But for the writing, it's a bit different because we don't have a lot of control over it. We only have influence over it. We can only influence the examiner. Okay. We can only influence the examiner to give us those points that we desire. But we know that writing part is usually very, very tricky to get the marks you desire. Now, we're going to deal with each and every part. And I'm going to tell you what points to focus on so that you can achieve your desired bands. Now, let's deal with the listening part. For the listening part, as I told you, is about you. You have the control. So, how do you have the control? You're the one who listens and you're the one who transfers these things onto the answer sheet. So the first thing we need to dwell on or we need to be care like we need to stress on is you have to be careful. You have to listen carefully. All right. You have to listen carefully and you have to transfer what you hear onto the paper carefully. That means you have the total control. OK. Of what you write down. And then the next thing is if you write it, you must write it legibly, of course, so that it makes it easy for the examiner to mark your answer sheet because when they don't see it, they just cross it off. All right. So these points are very important. So the next point is you have to keep time because, you know, the listening part takes 30 minutes. So you have 30 minutes to listen and you have 30 minutes to scribble down. You will be given a paper that is a, a rough sheet that you can write and scribble down what you, whatever you listened. But you have an option of also just transferring directly if you're confident onto the answer sheet. OK, so if you keep these three things in mind, you'll be good with the listening part. All right. So to the next part, that is reading. OK, for the reading, we have 60 minutes. Okay, and you have an answer sheet almost the same as the listening part. The main point to stress here is practice, practice, practice. Always practice. Because when you don't practice it, it will be very difficult for you on the exam day itself. There are many experiences such as this. Okay, and the point, the next point here is time. As I said, we have 60 minutes and we have three essays. And it ranges from the, the easiest to the hardest. Okay, so we want to make sure that we deal with these three essays in good time and also have enough time to transfer the answers onto the answer sheet. All right. So the next part that we have as well that we have to deal with or to to stress on is to answer the question that is asked. And that is very important because some of the some of the questions are very tricky. So you have to know which questions are like are very tricky. Some of the questions are very direct. Some of them are very tricky and you might get mixed up on which questions are which. OK, so you have to answer because some of the questions come as yes, no or not given or, you know, such kinds of questions. Very, very tricky. And you have to read the, the passage carefully so that you can arrive at the answer. OK, so the next part we're going to speak about is the speaking part itself, which takes 10 to 15 minutes. This is just a conversation that you ideally have, let's say, in an interview. If you have attended an interview before, it's just a conversation, simple, flowing conversation. The, the examiner will like to know what uh, something about you and many other things. And the first thing that you do in such conversations is be courteous. You have to be courteous. OK, that's the first impression. It matters a lot. And then the next thing that you have to remember, you have to keep it simple. Keep it simple all the time. It works every single time. Keep it simple. OK, and then give relevant answers as well. OK, don't give something out of the topic that the examiner is asking. All right. And then the next thing is you have to keep time as well. All right. And then the, the other part is you have to use some vocabularies. Show the examiner that you know how to use the vocabulary. OK, so the next the next thing that we are going to speak about is the writing bit so this part is the writing bit and we know that the writing bit is the part that has brought a lot of chaos it has brought it's very tough that's what people say and i agree with you it's tough but how can we achieve the band score that we need to achieve so basically it's a one simple thing follow the rules and make sure that you give the examiner exactly what they want at an early stage all right follow the rules give the examiner what they want and what do they want to see they want to see two parts so i've divided this into two parts the two parts are the first thing that the examiner will see when they take your paper or even when they see your paper from far, what they'll see, that is the handwriting, the legibility of the of what you wrote. You know, someone loves a good handwriting. When they see a good handwriting, they like to read that, you know, the, the paper and they'll write to read whatever you have written in there. 
So make sure that your, your handwriting is very legible and make sure that you keep nice paragraphs so that it has a nice flow and it has a nice structure to it. All right. So legibility is very important and paragraphing. OK, so <clears throat> the next bit is the part that now the examiner has taken your paper. Now, what will I find in this nice and writing? Now, we have to make sure that we read the question carefully, first of all. And then we make sure that the question, the question is usually at the end of, for example, the question can be discuss, discuss or, you know, explain or, you know, give your thoughts, give your opinion and many other questions that can be given regarding a topic. Okay. Especially in task two. In task one, we are given uh, a task to just describe a process or uh, describe a map or many other things that you can describe. But task two is the gold mine. This is where we find a lot of marks. Okay. For task two, make sure you respond to the task effectively. And this is done and this is shown in the first paragraph itself. We'll respond to the task and we'll make sure that we do that. So after that, what do I see? Is this is this uh, student like coherent? Is this student giving me two points at the beginning and making and uh, when I read the paragraph, the other subsequent paragraph, I find that um, there are different uh, points that he's giving me other than the two that he gave me in the first paragraph. Make sure that the first two points that you give are consistent with the rest of the paragraph. They are flowing. So make sure that you're coherent in your work. All right. And then the third part is make sure you use some lexical resource. You don't have to overdo it. Just make sure that it's just enough. Simple. Keep it simple as well. All right. Not crazy jargons. You know, just make sure that it's simple, straight to the point, and it's relatable to what you want to explain or what you want to stress on. Okay. And then the final bit is you have to make sure that you are grammatically accurate. All right. Make sure your grammar is good and to the point. When you follow all these rules, you'll find that everything will flow and you will know that everything uh, that you you've done for example the listening reading and uh, speaking you will have known your result because at the end of the day you will have had control over them and you will have known even how many points you need you you have already but with the writing i told you you have to just influence so you keep influencing and make sure that you influence the examiner as much as possible with the points that are given you and following that pattern in that order and when you do this you'll achieve your desired score all right thank you Thank you for watching. Do like and share this video and remember to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Turn on the notification bell to get an update on our new videos.